Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'm very excited to show you guys something different, something which I haven't done on the channel before and today I have with me a Bluetooth keyboard made by Logitech. So this is the Bluetooth multi-device keyboard model K480 made by Logitech. Now I got this keyboard for two reasons. Uh, firstly, because this keyboard has the ability to connect with multiple devices at one go. So you can connect it to three devices. As you can see in the picture on the left-hand side, there's a dial there which shows you that you can have three different devices. And not only that, you can connect, but you can also switch between those devices uh, at, um, at the same time as well. So say if you were using a smartphone and all of a sudden you had to use a tablet, you can turn, turn the dial to number two or three position, whichever position you've got your device configured at, and you can connect to your um, uh, switch, switch to your um, um, tablet and you can start using your tablet straight away as well. And the second reason is because this is one of the only few keyboards which provides you with a cradle. So you can actually uh, put your smartphone in as you can see in the picture or you can put your uh, Android tablet or your Apple iPad tablet in there and you can use it at the same time. And if you were to put them in, say, in, in a vertical position, uh, then you can also have the phone and the tablet all at the same time as well. It's quite wide and it's quite uh, it's got a lot of length into it. So you can... It, even if you put if you put three devices in one go, I'm sure you can fit them in as long as they are standing vertically in the cradle. So, okay, so let's have a quick look at the box. So at the front, as it says, like I said to you earlier, Bluetooth multi-device keyboard K480. This can also be used with Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, whether it's a tablet uh, or a laptop or a phone. So it's compatible with all four major platforms. Okay, and this is the UK English keyboard. You also have the USA English keyboard version, but I got the UK English keyboard version. I tell you what, um, I will provide a link in the in the description section. I got this from uh, Amazon.co.uk. I think for if I remember for forty one pounds. So I will provide that link in the description section. So if you guys are interested in purchasing it, uh, please go ahead. Okay, so at the bottom of the box, uh, the regular compliance information, CE and the barcode. And on the left of the box, nothing special, Logitech Bluetooth multi-device keyboard K480. And on this side, the same information as well. Okay, let's have a look at the back of the box. As you can see, it explains you how you can connect your keyboard to multiple devices uh, using Bluetooth. And then uh, you can use the dial to switch between those devices. Um, whenever you feel like and uh, this keyboard also is a full quadri keyboard and it has a built-in cradle in which can hold your smartphone or tablet all right guys so without wasting any more time let's um, do the unboxing and find out what do we have inside the box okay here we go so that's the keyboard itself let me take this out okay all right so this keyboard is black in color. I think it also comes in white if I remember correctly, but I got the black one because that suits my tablet. My tablet is also of black color and so is my phone, so that suits quite well to me. Okay, we'll have a look at the tablet in just a moment. Let's have a look what else do we have in the box. So we have this Logitech uh, information regarding safety, uh, compliance and warranty. Nothing special and I'm sure most of you are not interested. So let's put the box aside and have a look and see what do we have on the keyboard itself. So let's take the keyboard out. We've got more packing here. So let's remove the packing. Okay. So here you have uh, the Logitech.com website forward slash K480, meaning that you can go there and you can have, um, you'll have more information about the keyboard and you can read uh, should you feel like. Okay, now the keyboard itself. So this is the Logitech K480 uh, Bluetooth wireless keyboard. Let me bring it closer to the camera. As you can see, it's got the full keyboard uh, capability, uh, the caps lock, the tab, the shift, alt, control, and other various keys, and um, the space bar, shift, enter here as well. And on top, it explains you how to connect. So at the back of the device, I think it says, uh, you can... You can um, you can you can you can see a switch I think yeah there we go that's a switch so if you turn this thing on there we go and the light comes on as you can see and says K for it that means your keyboard is not switched on and I think this is the battery compartment let me see if I can pull it out there we go okay so you have two triple A batteries inside there we go so it's battery operated and you can change the batteries when they go down so let's close this quickly and let's see if we can go back to the front of the keyboard and show you guys more about other stuff. There we go. Okay. 
All right. So um, first thing, first impressions. Uh, the keyboard is slightly on the heavier side. It's not as light as I would have expected. But then again, because you have a built-in cradle uh, and also you have the dial here and you've got two double AA, triple A batteries and um, it's a, got a bit of thickness to it as well. But to be honest, I personally don't mind because this will probably stay on my desk or I will take it to work in my rucksack. So it's not that heavy. I think it's just above um, a half a kilo. It should be around seven to 800 grams uh, approximately. But still manageable, carryable, and um, you can uh, take in your rucksack or bag, take it to work or take on holiday or leave it at home. So it's quite still portable, if not slightly on the heavier side. So this is the dial I was talking to you about earlier. As you can see this dial, you can actually uh, uh, connect multiple devices and you can then change to whatever device you feel like once you start using that device. And also, um, you can it shows the different steps. I've switched it on already, and then you have uh, to, you can change the different different devices at the same time. Okay, here it tells you that um, you have a switch here on the, on the very right hand side, and if you press uh, the PC button, uh, I think this light should come on. There we go. The blue light has come on, and then you can connect using this side of the of, of the button uh, to connect to your Windows, Android, or Chrome OS device. Whereas if to if you were to um, press this one, the other button on the right hand side, and the other light comes on as you can see in the video, and you can connect it to your iOS or Mac OS device. So like I said, it's compatible with all your uh, Android, Windows, Chrome OS, iOS, and Mac OS devices, so it should be pretty much standard for all the devices and it should work straight away. Um, I tell you what, I like the, key, uh, the, the keys very much because you can see uh, it's got a lot of space between the keys. And even though, even though it feels a bit plasticky, I tell you what, the feedback from the keys is quite nice. And because there's a lot of space between the keys, I think typing is going to be really nice. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I can see myself typing very quickly on this and using two hands. It's going to be even quicker. So all in all, I think it's a decent keyboard. I like the spaces between the keys, and, and they are they got a nice play to it, and they are quite uh, you know, as you can, if I show you from the sides, they are quite uh, they quite come out of the keyboard. So they got a nice spring functionality inside, and they got a nice bit of play for you to actually um, type your stuff up. And also the spacing is very very nice, and it shouldn't be much of a problem typing on this. I like the cradle as well. Okay, I tell you what, I've got a I've got a couple of devices here. I've got a, t a couple of tablets and phone to show you guys how to put uh, the, the tablet and, and your phone into the cradle. So this is the Asus MemoPad 7 I've got. So let's put it in the keyboard. There we go, as you can see. So it fits in straight away. And if you even if you were to move your keyboard, it stays pretty firm inside. Also, I've got another phone here as well. So let's put the phone here, the Sony Xperia Z3. There we go. So I can use this keyboard uh, with multiple devices at, one time, at, at the same time. So you have your uh, tablet here. And you also have your phone, and you can switch between the two with the, with the required dial, uh, the, with, the, with the provided dial, and you can uh, use uh, the keyboard with both the devices at, and at the same time. Also, if you have, say, a bigger tablet, for instance, a tablet like this, I've got the Sony Xperia Z2 tablet as well. So this is a 10 inch tablet, as you can see, boom, straight away. So it goes in uh, to the keyboard, and you can start using it straight away. And this is also quite firm, and it's not going to come off, so it's quite nice. And I, li I like this plastic rubbery grip. It grips the tablet really, really nice, and it's not going to come off that easily. So, yeah. So, guys, there we go. This was uh, a quick video showing you uh, the Bluetooth uh, wireless multi-device keyboard model K480 by Logitech. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments section. If you like my video, uh, please subscribe. And... Uh, if you have uh, any other questions relating to this video or any other video, please feel free to ask and I will be more than happy to help and I will see you guys in the next video.